Hi, this is Marinda Carfre and you're watching Training Day. Our story begins in Boulder, Colorado, home to the University of Colorado and dozens of professional triathletes. I got the chance to tag along for a day of training with last year's runner-up from the Ironman World Championship and one of the fastest runners in the sport of triathlon, Miranda Carfrey. She started the day at the house she served with her boyfriend, Tim O'Donnell, who also happens to be a professional triathlete. session starts at 10 but I try to get in a little bit early get a few extra meters in because right after Monica's session is Dave Scott's session at 11.15 so. so for like a 10 o'clock swim workout like that what would you be eating? What have you eaten? Um, not a whole lot I had like a like a breakfast bar a muesli bar and a, and a banana so I slept in this morning and got up at about eight so that was nice this session in particular is one of my key sessions it's always a hard session on Thursday I also swim Jane on Mondays, which is pretty solid. Last year, I kind of dropped the ball a bit on my swimming because I was so worried about making the distance on the bike and run, and the swim became an afterthought. And that was a bit of a, of a mistake. Like, it turned out okay in the end, but I definitely didn't have a very good swim. I was probably at least a minute down on where I'd be any other day. This year, we've kept the swimming up a little bit more and not just having the swim as an afterthought or a recovery. Uh, for the bike and run. So I see it's almost 9.30 and you said you wanted to head out around then, so yeah. shall we go? Yeah, right, let's get cool. this done. After our chat, it was time to get down to business. The first workout of the day would be a master swim session at Flat Irons Athletic Club. They were nice enough to let me go along for the ride. On the way, we took in the Boulder sights and I could see right away why the town provides such a great environment for athletes. Well, you know, I don't even think it is the altitude. I think it's just that Boulder itself is such a, you know, cyclist-friendly environment. There's there's bike lanes everywhere, and there's lots of lots of good places to ride your bike around here. And also, just the trail running's fantastic. There's tons of really good restaurants in here, in town, actually. Um, Centro does really good mojitos. I've, I've had my fair share of mojitos down there. We arrived at Flatirons and I couldn't help but think about all of the past and present Ironman champions that train here on a daily basis. You never know who you're going to see. On this particular day, we ran into Miranda's friend and rival, Ironman 70.3 world champion, Julie Dibbins. As they started their workout, I realized that this was not your typical master's workout at a local swim club. It was intense. Get some 
lunch now and then um, I'll relax for a bit and then I'm just going to do, uh, I've got a couple of appointments this afternoon and then just an easy run this afternoon. So it's a pretty chill, chill Thursday. When the 90 minute swim session was complete, we drove over to a cafe to grab some lunch. While the offering of sweets and freshly baked goods was very tempting, I figured they had the inside scoop on the menu and copied their orders of an egg bagel sandwich. It was a beautiful day in Boulder and I relished the chance to sit outside and talk to two triathlon superstars. We went our separate ways after lunch and then I met up with Miranda again at a local trail. Next up on Miranda's training schedule was an easy 30 minute run. As I watched her run, I realized that even at her easy pace, Miranda looks like she's flying. she would build up speed before topping out and slowing down to start the next section. All I really care about is improving. If I see improvements on race day, if I feel like, I already feel like I'm a better athlete than I was last year. And, and if I have a better result this year than I did last year, I'll be happy. And I just really like pushing myself to the limit and seeing, you know, putting in the training and then seeing the results on race day. I love seeing how fast I can run off the bike. Um, but yeah, definitely the thought of Kona and, and getting back there and and having another, another go around at that race is motivating enough in itself. I'm not really focused on Chrissy or what Chrissy can do, I'm focused on what I can do and racing my race and hopefully that will put me close, close to her. And, you know, it, and if she is close, then you know, you've got to better believe it that you know, I want to kill myself to try, and, to try and get the top of the podium. Becoming an Ironman World Champion takes a special combination of talent, attitude and motivation. After spending over 24 hours with Miranda, I can safely say she has what it takes. It's a matter of when, not if, we'll see her on top of the podium in Kona. 